Everything I've done is directly affected by the City of Regina Writing Award because they came in points in my life where I could have given up. And because I had reinforcement from my community that said, no, we, we, you know, we think you should stick with this a little bit. I did, and that led to me being an arts producer for CBC in Regina, in the community that told me that arts mattered. So there really isn't a way that it hasn't affected my career. I say this every time people ask me about the City of Regina Writing Award. It's important because, first of all, it's important to live in a city where the city actually commits an award to art, and in particular, to art that is in process. It's not an award for having done the best thing. It's an award for trying to do something. It's a vote of confidence. And to have that vote of confidence changes your entire process. It changes the way you come at the work. So it's always been extraordinarily important to me and, and I've always been hugely grateful for the City of Regina Writing Award. I think that people who have straight jobs don't understand what a change it makes for someone who is working gig to gig to try to buy the time, to try to be an artist. And then you get this, this chunk of money. It's not a huge chunk of money, but for an artist, you can make it stretch months. It means you, there's three really not so great gigs you don't have to take where you can instead spend the time writing. So it makes a concrete difference as well as a sort of spiritual difference. This cover um, I designed with um, the designers at Radiant. It's actually props from the play and this face is part of a face wheel that my kid had when he was little because this is a play about the first five years with a, a kid that we figured out was autistic. And one of the things we did with him is he had a wheel with faces so that he could learn happy, sad, angry. And we added this one to his wheel, uh, which is safe. This is his safe face. And um, if you want to talk about permanent effects of the City of Regina Writing Award, that face lives right here. I have it tattooed there. I got it tattooed on while I was touring the show because uh, when my kid was upset, I would hug him and he would always put his nose right there so it would, he would have his safe face on my skin. It would be the first thing he would see. So I have it tattooed there and that is actually the play that I won the third award for. I was a single parent, working full time. Writing was my passion, but um, I didn't have a lot of time. And so both times that I was fortunate enough to get this award, I really relished the opportunity. It gave me permission to work on writing without feeling guilty. And that's a big thing when you're a parent. It's important to know that somebody valued um, your ideas and thought that what you were gonna work on was worthy. I uh, began writing when I was 17. I signed up for a creative writing course at the University of Regina. Um, Ken Mitchell was the instructor of that course and he offered both poetry and prose. Um, because I was only 17 and interested in writing, I was a little bit nervous about taking the class and so I talked to my mother, Pat Krause, into taking it with me. <laughs> <laughs> and we had a wonderful time. Ken was a great instructor. And uh, I'm really happy today that I'm talking about the City of Regina Award in this room, the Ken Mitchell Library, because Ken really played a big role in the development of many writers' lives in this province. I'm searching for a poem in this book that was one of my mother's favorites. and. I'm not finding it. These were the, uh, the two books that resulted from the projects that, that I submitted to the City of Regina Writing Award. 
and uh, they, they both have uh, great covers. Uh, they were published by Kato Books and uh, I'm sure that I would have been many more years uh, plugging away if I hadn't had the luxury of the time that the City of Regina Writing Award afforded me. So I keep this copy of the uh, City of Regina Writing Award certificate in my office. It's against the wall that I look at when I'm writing and sometimes when I'm feeling a little bit unsure I think, oh, I can do it. I've done it before. I can do it again. So um, I find it affirming to have a couple of reminders that I have had some writing successes in the past. People were never um, jealous of other people getting the award. I think we were all just so thankful that it was being offered and continued to be offered. Uh, and some really interesting voices were developed because of this award, and I think that that's critical. Well, I've, I've been um a naturalist and a bird watcher more of my life than I've been a writer and I may not always be writing books I'm probably going to stop at some point but I will always be a naturalist and I I think of it as kind of the reason I write because I care about the natural world I care about our relationships with the semi-natural and the wild places that are around us with my first book, I'd been doing some writing for a few years, magazine writing, some newspaper writing, and uh, I anyway, had a, a thought for a book in my, the back of my head. And one night I was coming out of a bar with a buddy of mine in the warehouse district in Regina, and we were up for a walk late at night, and I was talking about this idea that I wanted to write a book about, um, kind of a bioregional love story about a landscape, the Coppell River Valley. He was just a very forthright encouraging guy and uh, he said well you should just 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 do it and I told him about the writing award City of Regina writing award application process was coming up and then I just read about it in the newspaper and he said well just apply for it you know even if you don't think you've got time to do this right now because I was you know a young father with little kids and a full-time job and uh, so he just him giving me the nudge I applied for the award didn't really think much more about it and then, lo and behold, I was awarded it, so. If I had not won, if I hadn't applied and won the City of Regina Writing Award, I, I doubt I would have written the book. I, I just, you know, it, was, it gave me the nudge that I needed. It, it, it gave me permission so that I could go to my wife and say, look, see, I'm a writer. <laughs> you know, I could take this time off and my boss at work says I can do it, so. Uh, yeah, with, without that legitimizing effect of the writing award, you know, this was 1996, I just don't think I would have started writing books. You know, here I am seven books later uh, and working on, a, on an eighth one. So, um, yeah, it, it, it made all the difference to get that little, that little push from the award. So I spent a lot of time outside as much as I can and these days uh, it's, it seems to be more endorsed and, and better than ever to be spending time outdoors because we're, we're all supposed to stop meeting each other indoors for a while. Uh, so it's kind of interesting to see that under the pandemic a lot of people are discovering nature, discovering that they like to be outside and, and spend time do, doing things like bird watching. Um, it's always been a part of my life. Uh, so it's not so new for me, but it's, it's fun watching other people catch on and, and developing an interest in, in the birds and nature that they find around. Uh, something else that I, I really like to do in addition to writing is photography. Um, it's something that I started about 10 years ago when I was in journalism school. I took a photojournalism class and ever since then I've uh, liked to take pictures kind of as often as I can. This is a famous lookout point in Montreal and uh, that's, at, uh, that's at sunrise. I think that was like the third time we tried to take the photo. The first time I slept through my alarm, 
The second time we went to our rental vehicle and it had been towed. <laughs> and so then the, the third time uh, we were able to get up there and get that photo. This is the book. These are the two covers. Um, the, the poems that I submitted for the City of Regina Writing Award became this book. This is the original cover. Uh, and this is the cover that was created for the Indigo Exclusive Edition. Um, so this photo I actually, I actually took. Uh, the woman on the cover was a farmhand who worked for my uncle. I took that during harvest uh, years ago. The poems I submitted for the City of Regina Writing Award were part of my manuscript that became the book Sedley. Um, so it's a collection of poetry uh, that is set in the speaker's hometown of Sedley, Saskatchewan. I started writing about Sedley when I was in university. There was an assignment basically in one of my creative writing classes to come up with a portfolio. So some poems that were linked in some way. And I had already written a couple of poems that were inspired by my experiences growing up in Sedley. So I continued on. It felt like, it just felt like sort of this natural thing. Like as I sat down to write, that was what I was writing about. I, I, I basically had a, a manuscript pulled together and I had submitted it to Cotto and then later found out that it had been accepted. It was kind of that final step that was the stage I was at when I received the award. Yeah, I walk here with uh, Jasper frequently. We often um, start our mornings off with a walk so I can clear my head and think about what I'm going to focus on writing that day um, and sometimes when I get stuck we come out here and I go for a long walk uh, to think about the problem and um, it's oftentimes when I'm not thinking about the problem but just meandering like this that um, a solution uh, will come to mind and so then um, I'll often get home with uh, an idea on how to uh, continue. The one great thing about the award is that it's it's judged anonymously. And um, so that kind of makes me feel um, a little, my writing is validated a little by people who, who don't know me and not familiar with, with my work at all. Um, it just made me feel like I was kind of on the right track and that the story was working. The project that I won the writing award for the first time um, was Saltus, and it's my first novel. And it's coming out in um, March 2021 through Nightwood Editions. Saltus is about a young individual who was born in a male body but felt that they were female, and so um, they had uh, approached a local farmer to help them kind of kickstart their gender transition. I tend to write about stories that are quite dark, but I don't, um, I don't choose them because they're dark. They're often ideas that I want to know more about or I want to try to understand more about. Um, so that's why I, I pick the topics that I do is because I need to find um, find my own answers so writing about them is the best way that I can do that. But I know that when I've approached other places for funding or other places um, to get them to read my manuscripts to be able to tell them that they won the City of Regina Writing Award did absolutely help open those doors. I love watching to see who wins the award now every year and seeing that it's young writers who I've met uh, and, and, or people who I haven't met, but there's, there's so many exciting young voices coming forward and it's, it's great watching them, being encouraged by programs that the Writers Guild puts out and, and the, the awards like the City of Regina Writing Award.
It's a story about creativity and I got it for working with creative people. So how lucky is that? Like, how lucky do you get to be to have that be your life? I, um, I shake myself sometimes that I, that, that, that got to be my life. <laughs>